Hey everybody, it's Amanda. So uh, it's time for me to film part two of my 2012 favorites and this is going to be everything that's not makeup related. Um, I do want to apologize for getting this out so late and also if my speech is a little bit funny, um, I had just like a minor um, oral surgery and I do still have some stitches in my mouth so the swelling is mostly gone down. I have some time so I thought that I would try to go through some of these products for you. So. First off, um, let's talk about my skincare favorites this year. Now, if I don't mention something in a category, it probably means I haven't yet found um, a favorite in that category. But let me start off with my favorite cleanser. Um, this one has been talked to death. I've been using this for maybe three or four years now. And it is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple. Uh, the One Step Cleanser. I like this because it gets all my makeup off. Um, and when it leaves my face feeling soft and not tight and dry. Um, it works really well with my Clarisonic and it's just a real, real easy cleanser. Now, if you buy the 8 ounce size, it is a little pricey. It's $20. I'm actually on an auto delivery program where I get this and another philosophy product that I'm about to show you. And I get both of them in 32 ounce sizes for around $60 delivered. And I only really have to get those about every 6 months. So it ends up that I can get this. And then the other product, which is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. And this is what I use as my morning um, exfoliator. Um, it's gentle enough to use it every day. And it helps to get rid of any flakiness or dryness, especially during the winter time or if you're using any type of retinol product. So these two products together, um, these are my small ones that I keep in my shower and just kind of refill. But I'm actually on an auto delivery program for them in jumbo sizes. That's how much I love these. Now, my top... Um, pick for an oil cleanser and I use an oil cleanser sometimes when I have like heavier eye makeup on um, when my face is feeling particularly dry either from the winter weather or from Retin-A and my favorite oil cleanser is this it's the Josie Marin Argon Cleansing Oil um, the only downside of it is it does have a little bit of a bitter taste if you get it in your mouth. But otherwise, it's a nice, thick cleanse-off oil. It, wor it works really well um, and just feels very pleasant on the skin, and I love that. Now, my top overall pick uh, for any leftover trace makeup or anything like that, if I'm using the Purity, is this. It's the Bioderma Creoline Water. Now this is the only like Creoline water I've ever tried except for the YSL and I actually prefer this to the YSL. Um, this does sell for about $25 which seems exorbitant but I've probably had this for six months because um, I get most of my makeup off with either the Purity or the oil cleanser so there isn't really much work left for this to do. Great product. Okay, my top pick for daytime moisturizer, I have not found a top pick for wintertime, but for the summertime, my top pick was this, the Origins Vitazing SPF 15. Um, it's not a lot of coverage, but I usually use like a BB or CC cream that has um, a sunscreen in it, and the reason that I don't like this for the winter is that um, even though my skin appears a little bit darker, I'm about an NW15, and this does have a slight tint to it. And in the winter, I tend to need a little more moisturization, and if I add too much of these, it almost gives like an orange tint to my skin, which is obviously not appealing because nobody wants to look like an Oompa Loompa. So, um, summertime, springtime, like when it's not as dry out, and I don't need as much moisturization. Moisturization, this is great for a daytime. Okay, for evening, um, I go between two products. Um, the first one is this. It's the CeraVe PM. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. It's very inexpensive. You can get it at the drugstore. It has hyaluronic acid. This is what my dermatologist recommended. Um, it's moisturizing without being extra thick and creamy. The only downside I have about this one is that it does contain parabens. I've gone to all paraben-free in my body care, and I'm having a hard time letting go of this one. Um, the other one that I've really liked this year, and you can see because I'm almost out of it, is the Embryolisse. Um, this is a much sort of thicker, um, I want to say greasier, but that sounds bad, um, consistency than this. But it does give my combination skin a nice moisturization in the winter. It's not terribly expensive. You can get it on Amazon and so that would be my pick for nighttime. I've tried several eye creams, uh, several masks, several like 
once a weekly exfoliators uh, over the course of the year and I haven't really found anything that kind of knocked my socks off so I don't really have anything for that category. Um, the next category is um, body care and I really only have two things to show you in this category. The first is my natural soap. So this would be my pick for a body wash. This one is just a travel one from um, Happy House Frau. But there's also um, Windruff Hill um, Goat Smoke Soap if you like the goat's milk soap which is kind of what I'm partial to but some people don't like it because if they're vegan they don't want to use goat milk soap and um so that would be my pick for like a wash would be the natural soap my 2012 pick for a body lotion is the Josie Marin whipped argon oil I really like this because it's lightweight um it, so it doesn't feel very greasy. I can use it year round, but yet at the same time, it's incredibly moisturizing. This particular scent I just got lately. My favorite one is the citrus scent. This is um, like lavender citrus or something like that. And this one's okay, but as far as formula goes, this is definitely my winner. My last category in top picks for 2012 is hair, and these things should probably come as no surprise to you, but I only have four items in this category. I don't have any masks or leave-in items. Again, I've tried several different ones over the course of, year, of the year, but I haven't really found one that stands out, so I don't particularly want to share one over the other. But my pick for shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner is the Wen. And this happens to be one of their seasonal scents, which actually aren't my favorite because these are the um, wheat and gluten-free ones. And to me, they're not quite as moisturizing to the hair, although I do love the scent of them. But just in general, the Wen Cleansing Conditioner, um, two thumbs up from me. I've been using this for a couple years now, and I really, really like how it has helped my hair. Okay. Um, my next two um, items are styling products. One of them is actually from Wen. It's the Wen Sweet Almond Melt Styling Cream. Now, a lot of days, if it's not super, super humid, when I get out of the shower, I put a pump of Wen as a leave-in, about a quarter size amount of this in my hair, and that's the only thing I do. That's what I did today. I don't dry it. I just let it air dry, and it's just got this in it. Now, on days when it's super humid or in the summer, stuff like that, I do add this. Those of you that are doing the Curly Girl Method are not going to like this because this product does contain silicones, but it's this. It's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Curl Perfecting Spray. And I really find that in humid temperatures, um, this really does help keep my curls kind of together, if that makes any sense. Those of you with curly hair know what I mean. And then the final product that I have to share that I couldn't do without is this. This is my Wen Sweet Almond Mint Replenishing Treatment Mist. Um, I use this like on second day hair. So today, I did wash my hair today, let it dry. Tomorrow when I get up, it might be a little bit frizzy. I don't put any more products in it, um, like styling products, but what I'll do is I'll just mist this lightly over my hair and kind of scrunch it. And it just kind of brings some of the curl back and takes down the frizz. Um, Another product that would be similar to this would be the um, the Diva Curl Mist, but I just kind of prefer the Wen over that. I'm going to do a video kind of comparing and trust, contrasting those two, but this is definitely a favorite. Anyways, I enjoyed sharing my favorites with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.